I've traveled for miles. I've searched all over for the perfect recipe. I thought I had it, but now this, now this. What is up guys? Welcome back to Technically Steve. As you can see today, I'm not really in a good mood and I'm gonna give you my review anyway. For past year, I've been going to Dunkin' Donuts and I get the bacon, egg and cheese snack wrap and I always order it without the egg. So I get a bacon, egg and cheese snack wrap, no egg. So yesterday I'm sitting in my office and I learned that there's these new roll-ups. The roll-ups don't have the egg. It's just bacon, cheese, and the, the roll-up bread. And I'm thinking, how could they do this to me? How could they steal my idea? This is a plan. This is a recipe that I had for many, many years. And now they stole it right out of my trunk, right from me. And it, it's upsetting. It, it really is upsetting. Um, anyway, went through Dunkin' Donuts and here it is. It is a bacon cheese wrap. No egg. So you open it up and you got your cheese and you got your bacon and you got your wrap. That's all there's to it. Let's text it out. I can say they added an extra piece of bacon. Looks like you get looks like you get two, maybe two and a half pieces of bacon compared to the snack wrap where you got one. But I did notice that the bacon is a little soggy. But hey, uh, I mean, it is bacon. I mean, what can I say? I mean, it doesn't have an egg. I mean, could it be really labeled a breakfast sandwich with no egg? I mean, bacon, you can have on lunch. There's the bacon, egg, uh, lettuce, tomato sandwich. Um, other things, you could put bacon on a cheeseburger, which is very good, may I add. Very good. But the egg, when you hear egg, it's like, it's usually a breakfast thing. Nobody says, oh, what do you want for dinner? I'm gonna have an egg. But they do say I'm gonna have a bacon burger or a BLT, but an egg. So my question is, is this really a breakfast item? What about the egg? For me it is, because I don't get the egg anyway. And they took that from me. They stole that from me. I was going to come up with my own. My own uh, restaurant. Just called. Technically Steve's. Bacon cheese roll ups. I can't do that no more. I can't do that no more. I'm going to have to find something different. Find something new. So please, help me. What should I do? 
How can I go on? But my recipe has been taken. I also have here coffee. Today, I got, let's see if you can see it. I got a shot of blueberry in my coffee. I usually don't. I usually just take it. Actually, this is pretty good. Don't tell anybody I said that, okay? We don't want them to know that it's good. So, mom's the word. Not that anybody's watching this anyway. So let's give the coffee a try with the blueberry. That's good. You can taste a little hint of the blueberry flavor. I usually get one or two sweet lows in it. I know, I know, sweet and is not good for you, but something about sugar and coffee. Have you ever tried to put sugar in coffee? You, you put it in, put one in there, oh, it has no taste. You put another, no taste. You put another, no taste. You put another spoonful, no taste. And then you put the next spoonful in and it's like all the other spoonfuls were just like quadrupled and it tastes like this too sweet. And then you gotta either dump some out or, and put more coffee in. So it's just, it's just a whole rigmarole you put in the, the sugar in. So I just put two sweet and lows. You know what it's gonna taste like. Bang, it's good. Mm. Dunkin' has some good coffee, people. Not as good as uh, Starbucks, but shh. Again, don't tell anybody. Anyway, that's my review. Again, they stole my recipe, but it was good. Bacon, a little bit soggy, though. I don't know why. I like a crisp piece of bacon. I don't know whether it was just my order today or maybe they had it sitting in water for the last six days I don't know it was, bacon was a little bit soggy I like a crisp piece of bacon and it wasn't really that crisp you know all in all it was pretty good I mean it's bacon bacon's bacon um anyway remember to subscribe give me a comment thumbs up if you like it and um I replied to all my comments and uh, thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time.